Hey, you guys, it is Sharika, aka Share. How are you doing? Welcome back to my channel, and thank you guys for joining me as I share with you guys my financial journey, um, the ups and downs, and the all the way arounds with it. Uh, sharing with you my budget, how I budget, um, different uh, things that I budget, also sharing with you my net worth, which is what I'm going to share with you today. So if you guys want to continue seeing videos like this and joining me on the journey, do not forget to like and subscribe. So let's jump into my net worth last year before I show you what it's looking like January 1st of 2021. So January 1st of 2020, my net worth fell at $15,587.45. That's not bad. Um, but you know, at my age, I, I, I definitely wanted a little bit more. And so last year I was on a journey to pay off $40,000 in debt. I did not pay off the $40,000, but I paid off quite a bit, $32,000. And so let's see as of January 1st, 2021, what my net worth looks looking like. And so if you notice, I just want to just go back and forth a little bit. This, how this liabilities column just really decreased because I was able to pay off a lot last year. So A plus for that. So next we'll go into the numbers. So first we will start with my assets. So the first asset that I'm going to start with is my savings. And so for my savings, I count everything that is in my Capital One 360. I have about five different savings accounts over a few different categories in that account. And that is what I count. So in my savings, I have $12,858.35. Next is my TSP, my thrift savings plan. That is my 401k with my employer. And the balance of that account as of January 1st was $123,151.32. That's definitely a nice hefty increase from last year. I believe last year it was 102. So um, I did increase the amount of my giving last year into my TSP. And so I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. The next is the value of my cars. I, I really don't get caught up into it. Um, me and my daughter have pretty much the same car. My Hers is actually one year older than mine. Um, we're going to ride the things till the wheels falls off. But if we had to sell both of those today, we would probably get around $6,000, give or take. Next is my home. And so in 2020, the value of my home went in every single direction possible. I remember, oh my gosh, over 11 years ago when I first bought my home during that whole housing bubble, actually bought it right before that housing bubble. And the value of my home went like this, you know, all the way down, y'all. Um, so it's been, it was definitely interesting to see it last year um, go up, go down, go side to side, like all over the place. But at the end of the year, and as of January 1st, 2021, the value sat at a nice 235.12. And I was a okay with that. So very happy. So my total assets. $377,021.67, you know, every penny counts. So next, let's go down to the liabilities, everything that I owe somebody else. So the first one is my thrift settings plan. I took a loan from them. I got into, in the middle of my journey, I ended up, um, you know, doing a little spurgeon, took a little bit too much of a break, and I ended up having to consolidate those debts um, just to make life a little bit easier. And so... From there, the balance of that loan is $24,030.45. Next, I have two student loans. So when I started, I had a total of four student loans. Last year, I was able to pay off two of those. And so when I paid off those first two loans, I was able to pay off one at a time, which made that whole snowball so much easier. It was awesome. These last two loans, even though they're separate loans, when I make it, I can only make one payment and that payment is split in half. And I do not know why, but um, the whole goal, I was hoping that I could, you know, do the snowball, pay the smaller one off first, then pay the larger one off. But they don't want it to, they're, they're, loans, they're not working with me. So it's all one. 
even though they have it as two different numbers. And so um, it's one big thing. So the balances on those, the first one is $25,713.44. And the second one, $30,885.64. Then next is my mortgage. And so that's pretty simple. I owe $193, and cents. So when it all comes down to it, this pretty number right here, $102,000, $102,595. That's a big chunk of change from the $15,587.45 from last year. So I've already like run my numbers. That's a difference, an increase of $87,000 from last year. I'm happy. I'm very happy. And so that was just, you know, adding money to my TSP on a regular basis, I mean, automatically for my paycheck and also paying off debts last year. And so it's definitely going to be exciting to see how the journey is going to be this year as I'm not going to be paying much off in debt, but I'm going to be saving a whole lot too. So I plan to, as I usually do, track my net worth every single month. I think last year I maybe missed one or two months, but I like to see this number change. Um, it's definitely a more positive number than watching the debt slowly go down, um, especially since this year I'm going to be just paying minimums. But I'm so excited to see this increase. Like, I mean, I went up $87,000. So, oh my gosh, I can't wait to see how much I go. I increase this year. I mean, I've already increased my 401k contributions by 1%. Um, and I've got several savings goals for this year. So, I'm excited and I hope you guys are excited too. Don't forget to subscribe again, like this video and join me on this journey and watch me increase my net worth um, and tell me what kind of things are you guys doing so that you can increase your net worth? What types of things do you also put into your assets and liabilities? I've seen different net worth videos and I've noticed people do different things. Like I noticed people put their checking account in there. I don't do that. Um, and also various things, jewelry and all that. I don't, you know, I'm not a bling bling person myself, so I don't need to do all that. So um, definitely can't wait for you guys to watch me go through this journey. Thank you again. Bye.